explain the top coming down? Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> I might flash you a titty today. Ooh, my apologies. Hey everyone, it's me, Ramon Rice Cake, and welcome to my channel. First off, I just want to say I hope you're all having a great day, a lovely night, whatever time it is that you're watching my videos. I hope that I can send you some good and positive vibes. Are you passable? Are you passable cross-dresser, ladyboy, femboy, gender-fluid human? And does it matter? Would you guys rate that I'm passable? Say that it's a scale, right? 10 is, wow, she's a woman. Or on the other end, a one being, no, I can see that you have a dick. Where would you guys rate me on that scale? I know some of you bitches out there are shouting, one minus three. If that's you, go fuck yourself. How would I rate myself though? I think for me it depends on the look, depends on the day, what I'm wearing, my makeup. But today, like with this look, I'd say, mm, I don't know, like a seven or eight. That's right, she's feeling herself today. <laughs> But again, I think it depends on your style. Like, it's a personal preference, right? However way you want to come across to the world is how you're going to present, probably. To all my gender non-conforming folks out there, have you ever dolled up, gone out in public, and you've just gotten stares, death looks, daggers in people's eyes, and people just staring at you until they eventually walk into something? Guilty. <laughs> That's happened to me a few times. And you never really know how people are going to react to you. Like there are some nights where I feel so fishy, so biologically woman, and then I go out and it's the complete opposite. Everyone just staring me up and down being like, what the fuck? And literally I can see their mouths being like, Like, I could see it. And usually those nights, I kind of just brush it off. Like, oh, maybe I'm just so tall with my heels on and I'm the tallest woman in the room. And, or maybe I'm just too drunk and you know, everyone's just staring at me because I'm walking funny. Or maybe there's just something on my face. Oh right, there is. 10 pounds of makeup. <laughs> So yeah, I guess it would be nice if people didn't stare or side-eye me, but as I've grown up, I've realized, why do I care? Like, who cares? Am I trying to blend in? Am I trying to be so passable that nobody can clock me? And why is that important? These are the issues that we're going to talk about today. <laughs> that was a long intro, but that's basically the topic is passability. Now, because I'm gender fluid, in my boy form, I don't care to stand out. I don't care to get attention and, and I don't mind just blending in with the crowd. It's just, that's just how, that's just my boy vibe. But in my female form, I enjoy looking feminine and girly and flirty and like a Moana Barbie doll. <laughs> And again, that's just my style. This is just my aesthetic. This is how I want to present. But see, the problem is when I speak to other femboys, femmes, and other gender non-conforming folks in my community, is that being passable is almost the goal. You know, like this is the thing that they're trying to achieve. And it really gets me thinking, why is being passable so important? Oh my god, my boobs. And I understand the concept of wanting to be like everyone else, you know, feeling that sense of normalcy that maybe a lot of us folks never felt growing up before and now, you know, growing up, it's like, it's almost like, ooh, I just feel like I'm like everyone else. Almost as a way of fitting in, you know, like if you've never fit in in high school, it's like, oh, this is a way of like, you fit in with the crowd. And the biggest problem that I have with this passability goal is that it reinforces the idea that being cis is normal and is like the goal. Like looking cis is looking natural. And I have a huge issue with that, is that it makes it seem like trans and gender non-conforming folks are not normal and it's it's like no one wants to look like you. And yes, there seems to be a lot more cis straight people out there in the world, the Karens, the Beckys, the Johns, but fuck them. <laughs> 
everyone is valid and nobody is normal, okay? Let me tell you that. Those Karens, those Johns, they have their fucked up things about them too, as we can see from the videos, of course, of this past year. But trust me, everyone is fucked up in their own weird ways. And it gets me thinking, are there any privileges of being passable? And the only thing that I could come up with is if you live in a city or country where being gay or being queer is illegal. Because obviously that's a lot more dangerous and you can be killed for just being who you are. So of course, like if you were passable, you could pass through and blend in and be like everyone else and you could, you know, not get arrested. And if that's the case, I would say leave immediately. Go find refuge and move to a safer community. And I'm not gonna lie, I can usually tell if someone is cross-dressing. You know, there are dead giveaways, like for example, if you're, you know, a man trying to dress up as a woman, like, you usually have broader shoulders. Guilty. <laughs> I have that, so I like to kind of conceal it with, you know, these puffs and long sleeves and, you know, there are ways to make it to make yourself look more femme. Another dead giveaway is your voice. You know, not everyone can just like alter their voice like Paris Hilton, like on the spot, you know? And again, I also have that. I, I mean, I think I have a bit of a feminine voice as it is, that kind of gay lisp, <laughs> people say. Um, I do have a little bit of that, but I go with it, I rock it. And the other giveaway with men is their facial features. Obviously facial hair, beard, if they have like a square uh, defined jawline, you know, that makeup. Makeup will be your best friend. <laughs> you need to contour and make everything else pop. <laughs> So yeah, my radar for spotting gender fluid folks or gender non-conforming folks is very spot on, but I don't care though. I actually love it. If I go out in public and I notice someone who's like me, I love it. I love seeing them. It makes me so happy because it's almost like, oh yes, I support you. I see you. I see that you're so brave and good for you. It's like, good, represent us. Let people know that we're out there. I remember when I first came out as gay, I hated that feeling and anxiety and all those emotions that you get when coming out. And I came to a point where my mentality was, you know what, fuck this. I don't want to come out anymore. I never want to have to have those feelings again each time I come out. Like what? Like that's so unfair. Why do I have to tell you about me? And so I would dress so crazy, I'd wear the brightest colors, the shortest shorts. And it was just a wave of letting people know that, hey, I'm queer. Yep, you don't have to ask me, I don't have to tell you, you're just gonna know by just looking at me. I kind of used my clothes as a weapon and it shielded me because I never had to come out again. And if I did have to come out to someone, they were probably blind or deaf. <laughs> and coming out as gender fluid is just as hard as coming out as gay, so I kind of had to come out twice. And I've hit that point in mentality of where I was in university where I just didn't give a fuck. Like, I just don't care anymore. And this is why I have a whole YouTube channel discussing these things, presenting myself like this. I'm just gonna dress however I want, whatever makes me feel good, and whoever doesn't like it, too bad because you know what i exist and there are a lot more people like me that also exist we're here we've been here and we're not going anywhere so whether you're passable or not everyone has a different style and aesthetic and want to present themselves in different ways anyway so fuck it wear whatever you want and this takes me back to the point of visibility and how us being visible existing, showing ourselves to the world is so important because it just lets everyone else know who's not like us, that we're here. But on top of that, it also lets people who are like us, who are in hiding, it lets them know that we're here as well. And it might inspire and encourage them to go out dressed up a certain way. So my advice, if you live in a safe enough city, is to go out there 
be proud and be visible because at the end of the day it's your life and you have to ask yourself am i living for myself or am i living to please other people i choose myself if you've made it this far, help your girl out. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe button. Leave a comment for me down below. What is your idea of passability? What do you guys think about it? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!